Welcome back to One Hour Limit Locked, where I race to complete some of RuneScape's most iconic challenges, whilst limited to just one hour of gameplay each day. In Season 1, we got ourselves a fire cape in 46 days, and in Season 2, we achieved Barrow's Gloves in just another 38. But now, in Season 3, it's time for our toughest challenge yet. The question is, how many days will it take us to complete our first ever raid on the account? We not only have to get ourselves geared and leveled up just to step inside a raid, we then have to complete it in under one hour, as logging out in the middle will end our run. I've no idea how long this is going to take me, but I can't wait to find out, so join me for the journey here in Season 3 of One Hour Limit Locked, as we become a Tomb Raider. What's good everyone, you already know what time it is, it's one hour limit lock time baby, we're here for episode 57, and today we are in the final stretch, I'm telling y'all, we're almost there, almost, 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 I've been saying this for a few days now, but it's getting more and more true by the day. Today we have to finish off 50,000 more attack XP. Easy mate, no problem. And then we will hopefully have a fair chunk of time to move on to Beneath Cursed Sands and start on that quest, which I can't really remember how or where it started, but we will, of course, be looking it up like everything else in Quest Helper. It's been a while since we've actually done a quest on the series, I have to whip out my old... I don't know why, what, I have my templates, they changed since I, I moved PCs. I don't know if I'll have them for the quest time completion thing i'll have to i'll have to see maybe you'll see it maybe you won't It'd be a shame not to show it for the last quest in the series so i will do something and there are our burbs and herbs all taken care of ladies and gentlemen guys gals non-binary pals everyone anywhere in between you have never seen birdhouse runs like this except for every other episode on this season i'm in a weird mood today i don't know if y'all can tell i didn't know i was in a weird mood until i started recording and then i started talking and i'm like oh okay so that's where we're at it is indeed where we are so yeah we'll be smashing out our daily toad flax and then making our way to scurious once again why is there another dead patch what is wrong with toad flax so many dead patches recently i mean the on the bright side at least the seeds aren't expensive it's not like we're losing 25k that would have been if it was around our seed down oh we got to get to soften them how much is a pharaoh scepter right now because i could buy one and then just sell it after right two mil should we grab a pharaoh scepter just to do this quest and then stick it back on ge I mean, the other option is move house to Palmerdon Beach and get a carpet from there, but I kind of just want to... It kind of feels cheeky to just, <laughs> you know, buy it just for one quest. After spending literal months, months inside Pyramid Plunder, grinding for this on my Iron Man, I'm not joking, I was there for like five months training thieving by fucking Pyramid Plunder. It was dire. It took so long. Like, how cheeky would it be for me to just buy one on one hour limit lock just to use for a single quest? I feel like it's a foregone conclusion at this point. <laughs> Plus, it'll make for a sick thumbnail, so... Okay, where else are we going? Camelot. There is quite a th few parts to this quest. Thankfully, unlike the long quest that I did yesterday, this one does not require me to actually use my brain. I get to use quest helper. Yay for quest helper! Boo for new quests that make it unclear when you need a shit ton of additional items before you've turned up to the area. But that's just a RuneScape quest, so that's just me being a quest here, or as per nothing to see here, folks. Wonderful stuff. And there's no way I'm not getting a fair receptor. Oh no, it won't have charges though, will it? You can only charge it at the fucking temple, can't you? I mean, it still might be useful because we'll have to go back there a couple times. Fuck. Okay, okay, okay. We're still gonna get one. We're still gonna get one. If it buys, I'm not gonna... I'm not gonna worry about putting the offer up. If it buys, we'll use it. Right, let's go to Scurry. 
Oh boy, the greatest of all time. Screw himself. I might be getting a bit overzealous with my prayer there, but that's an indicator of how little I can be asked to flick today. We're in the home stretch. This is no longer about minimising cost. This is about getting the goal done at all costs and no expense. Should probably be using divines, but I already left. Oh yeah, I did this on my main yesterday. I'm just gonna turn off shadows. As pretty as they are, they make it harder to see things. And we also want to... What's the other one? Turn off ground textures, I think. Yeah, look at that, they're way easier to see. I'll try and toggle it on next time he does it. Here we go. See the difference? I don't know how visible that was because it was kind of stuttery when you switch between, but hopefully y'all y'all can tell what I'm talking about there. So yeah, if you if you're having problem problems with 117 HD and like not being able to see things fully, I recommend just turning shadows off and turning off the ground textures. As pretty as they are, it just makes things more difficult. So let's have a scurry of spine in the middle of my explanation. I feel like we always get one at the start of the trip and then don't get one for ages. That is an extra 5k towards our goal though as soon as we turn it in. There's our Pharaoh Scepter coming in. We'll need to buy some gold artifacts as well so we don't have to play the minigame. And we will still need a single journey there. Which kind of sucks but nothing I can do about it. And it ruined shame body. Not bad at all. Estimated around 25 minutes to get this, but we do have that spine to turn in as well. So maybe closer to like 21, 22. I'll probably turn it in between this curl if I have time. I had to eat on the last one, so didn't really have much downtime between this curl and that one. Okay, let's turn in this spine. Wonder what KC will finish on. Thank you very much. I'll take attack. There's another there's a tiny delay here, but there we go. And now our XP tracker is all fucked up. I think I'm going to report here. Just stay closer to full. Well, we had 50k XP to gain at the start of the day, and now we have 25, so we are officially halfway through today's training. And I don't think I was at all overzealous of my prior. I think I actually probably brought exactly the right amount to enable me to not give a fuck about flicking. Come on, chuck us another spine, lad. Save us an extra 5k from this mission before I say goodbye to you, possibly forever on this account. I don't see myself ever really coming back here after the account that has been unlocked. I think whatever I do play on this account after the series finishes will be fully AFK for the most part, other than like big quests and shit. I'm gonna report for possibly the final time on this tick down. Hopefully this will be the last little bit here. Nine minutes on the tracker, but it's kind of inaccurate still because of the spine, so it might be slightly longer. We're not gonna have an awful lot of time to do Beneath Curse Sands today, but we can at least get started on it, which might mean tomorrow, well, it'll mean tomorrow we should definitely be able to finish it, and we might have a bit of time left over to just do a little bit of last minute bookkeeping, you know, get everything together, get ourselves there and ready so that hopefully the day after tomorrow, we can log in ready to raid. That's how what I would like to be in the position of. Sat there at the entrance, raring to go. That is absolutely beautiful. A rat spawn on 6 HP. Come here often. Me neither. I do like the animation on this weapon. It feels like you're yeeting it at him. Like it's a proper ye a yeet swing in it. Yeet! 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 Look at that, 4 HP rat spawn. They, they just, they don't make them like this anywhere else. It's a one hour limit lock special, that is. So close. If it gave us a spine right now, I think we'd get there. Damn near, anyway. Come on, Scurrius. Put your back into it. Back it up for me. Never lucky. This boss is awful. It's got a terrible drop table. Doesn't even have a decent pet. Might be our last kill though. Last or penultimate, hard to tell. Kinda depends on rat spawns. Probably. 
Also, I brought exactly the right amount of prayer. Once again, confirming that I am, in fact, gaming. Ooh, right at the end. Don't think that's going to be enough to get us there, but... Oh, it's so close. Right, this is our very last Scurrious kill. Coming in, we will have told the rat to sit 336 times at the end of this series. I may even have to flick a bit here. He's been very good to us, hasn't he? We don't technically need to finish the kill, but we, we've been through so much together, I feel like it would be impolite not to. And there is our 70th attack level. We can now wield the Zamorokian Hasta along with a plethora of other different weapons. However, the Hasta is the one we are interested in the most. That is our best in slot melee stab weapon for all content that we can wield at our current level up until we would have access to a Grazi Rapier or an Osmotan's Fang, which it sits behind in the total DPS charts. However, it is still a very powerful weapon, one that I have never wielded before. I have never swung one or stabbed with one, so I'm very excited to use the Zamihasa, and we should be making use of it today in Beneath Kursans. Thank you very much, Scurrius. For a tuna and everything else that you've given us. Okay, so I might wonder why I'm not just teleporting out here. I figured it made sense, seeing as though I'm actually just in the area. Why don't we just go and move our house to Polniv Niche? Because we will need a teleport there to get to soften them for the first time so why not why not and then we will go for a quick reset there is a bank in soften them so we don't need to worry about that we can wear chill stuff and we do just want to go back to the ge real quick and get ourselves some golden scarabs or whatever for the Scepter. One more, please. Okay, maybe a glory knife so we can fill up our water skins if we need to. And do we need anything else now? We're just going to get it once we're there, aren't we? So, home tallies would be the next thing. I think we are good to go. I'm just going to run to this fountain over here because I'm not 100%. I'm assuming there would be one in Polnab Niche, but. I'm not 100%. We should just about get to the point where we have a fight to do. The headman a fight guard. So we should just get to test out this Sammy Hasta before the end of the session. Yeah, there's a fountain right there. And a well there. Do you need a bucket for a well? Okay, we are going to soften them. I should have probably just geared up anyway, because we're going to be heading straight towards that fight. But... I figured I'd wear lighter stuff until we needed combat stuff, even if it is only for the travel through the desert. Alright, good RNG, first door. Never okay. Hey, right. I want to charge my scepter. Awesome, so now we have, I think he said, 10 charges in the scepter. We can get back here as long as I know which one of these it is, which I don't. Alright, now I'm going to go to the bank. I'm gonna look this up so I can see which mode is softening. Gel Sabra. Let's get our combat gear on. Oh, we are an absolute menace. Look at us. And I believe we don't want any overhead prayers for this yet. So I am gonna just take a r just one of them, please. One uh, regular super combat potion may as well, and I'll take a prior potion so we can use our piety if we need to for a long time. And then, yeah, we should be okay with just meh food, but we may as well bring a few sharks as well. We are on a stab style, which is beneficial for some of the bosses in this quest. I can't remember which ones. It might be this one. I know there was at least one when I was looking for it that I was like, oh, so you want stab for that, and that's why I decided to do it after the Hasta. This thing has a spec. Push your target back and stun them for three seconds. Deals no damage. Oh, so it's like a D-spear. Interesting. Oh, we got a cutscene. Don't even have to run. Never mind. They pose right in the starting bit. We do have to run. Okay. 
fairly simple fight from what I remember. I think there's an attack where we have to step away, but that might be a different boss later on. I'm not 100%. Should we get a stun off? Whoa, suck my dick. Wait, it stunned me too. That was the point in that. Yeah, I still couldn't get an attack in before he could. It's kind of weird. Very easy fight. Should have brought the scepter so I could just teleport back to the bank. That was a dumb move. I thought we were going to have less time left by the time we were done with that fight. I didn't think I'd end up doing anything else. But I'm now wondering if it just makes more sense to, like, just do as much as we can and pick it up tomorrow at the start of the session. Like, there's no reason that we need to start with verbs and herbs. There's no real reason that we need to do them. But we may as well because we'll have time spare, assumably, after we finish this. So yeah, I think I'm just going to go and spend my full time doing whatever I can to get this quest closer to its finish. Right, we need some stuff for this part. Is that all the stuff? No, we need a spade. Ooh, I don't really want to take an anti-venom, but not much else we can do. And we don't actually need that staff, so let's get the scepter that we do need, and we don't need our cash tag either. We may want a dueling ring though. Okay, am I happy with this? I guess so. Probably didn't need a knife, did I? I've got the Hasta. That was a bit dumb. I think I put it in my inventory before I had the hostile out. Two scarred mages. I'm only poisoned for three, so... I don't want to worry about it too much because it'll just keep reapplying it. Oh, we've only gone a minute and a half of poison protection. Avoid the projectiles. Oh, you have to do something fast here. Good luck, me. Agility puzzles, I don't know if you can tell. This is a long chat window. Okay. Is this gonna happen as soon as I go in there? No, this is the riddle area. Because I need range gear. Okay, so it's telling me to go out anyway, so I will go back to Ferox. As soon as though we can just teleport anyway. Yeah, we've, we're pretty close to the end, actually, from what I remember. We've got two more fights to go and a couple of other bits in between. Should be pretty decent. Don't know why I'm just sat here doing nothing. Kind of inefficient. So, yeah, that's good. We made some good progress there. Shall I do a birdhouse run? May as well, right? Should have cleared more invent space. Uh, I don't know if we'll get the last one in. Nah, I'd rather just tell it than... Oh, count check. What a shame. I can't talk to you. Even though you'd tell me I couldn't get anything from you anyway. Okay, folks. We have got all of our levels together for raids. Finally. All of them. Every last one. No more levels to get. At least friendship level mode. We may need to level up to do normals. But that's another problem for another day. Right now, we're only thinking about entry mode. We've got to finish this quest off. We've done most of the, like, running around, doing little bits here and there. There's still another section that's like that. But this section is just a fight, and this section is just a fight. So even though it's two big sections on the thing that look quite long, they're just fights. And they shouldn't be too difficult. From what I remember, this one's more difficult than this one, but... It might be easier for me the second time when I sort of know what I'm doing a little bit more. We'll see, of course. Yeah, the, the stats are beautiful right now. 1334 total level, 90.5 combat level, with a very clean page other than that 6 awkwardly being enraged, but... 
I'm not going to complain about having a slightly higher level. Uh, we've made some good progress on Vanifka Sands today, and we got 80,000 XP, 60,000 attack XP being the predominant part, along with our usual standard hunter and farmer and our hit points XP that came alongside the attack. We, I think the thing I wanted to do was go and have a look at Scorius' log. Let's see how many spines we've had. In 336 kills, we have had 18 spines. I'm not going to bother and try to do the mental math. I'm just going to ask my calculator. That's 18. 1 in 18. What is the actual drop rate? 1 in 33. Done quite well there, I'm not going to lie. The one hour limit locked RNG apparently has been there for Scurrius all along, not just for those zombie axes that we had a ridiculous five of. Are they, where are they? Where are zombie axes? Oh, miscellaneous. Also, this account has come such a long way. I'm just so happy that y'all have been here to enjoy it with me. It's been an absolute treat. It genuinely has. And it's not going to be over just yet, because even after entry mode, we've still got normals, but it's coming towards the end. And yeah, every time I just I just want to say thank you to you all. Thanks for being here with me. We passed 300 subscribers yesterday, which was amazing. Great feeling. Here's to many more. And yeah, till the next one. Look after yourselves. Be lovely to one another. I'll see you then.